guys, it's me again, Sergeant Pepper, here for another tutorial video. Specifically, how to join our very own SPLH Cupcake Farm server. First things first, you want to join the Discord server. You can easily find the link, navigate yourself on over to our chat and exclamation mark Discord. And then for the mods, exclamation mark FS mods. Uh, you'll get a link in there. And this command right now, we actually have the uh, region displayed as well as the name of the farm. So this is your standard mod download link. Basically down at the bottom here is the easy button, download all active mods. So if you want to join the server, you are gonna need them all. So I recommend just slap that there button and get the download started. Also worth noting, as usual with mods, you will need a program that can read zip rar compressed file archives. I definitely recommend WinRAR. I've always used it. It's free. You can get it on the internet. So our download's done. There it is, all mods. If we just take a quick peek inside, you can see we have all the mods in here, all in their own little zip folders. We got a zip folder full of zip folders here, man. Hilarious. But you can see that is exactly the same list that we have here. You downloaded the right file, you got all your mods. So what you want to do from here is actually copy, and we're going to move it real quick. You want to navigate yourself to Documents, My Games, Farm and Simulator 19, and Mods. Paste uh, your all mods download in there, and from here, my personal preferred way to do this is just extract here. So extract here, we'll just extract all the files within right into this folder. Nice and easy. There you go. And then you can see all the files pop out. Perfect. And then once you've done that, you can actually just go ahead and delete the all mods download. You don't need this once you've gotten all the mods out. All right. So that's it. I know. Easy, right? Like, Easiest mod install ever. It's weird because you got to make sure, right? If you didn't notice there, I did not extract the mods from their zip folders, which is incredibly bizarre. And I know a lot of you are going to want to try to do that, but just fight the temptation. Don't do it. Those mods are all meant to live in their zip folders. That is, that is exactly all you need to do right there. From here, nice and easy. Just uh, click on the old multiplayer, join game, set up your uh, profile, your character. This is uh, really cool. You know, you can set uh, all, all your different stuff. Super neat. International, that is where we are. Select that. Next. Okay, now here's where you're going to have to look for the server, right? So by default, this is probably something about like what your server list is going to look like, right? All, all kinds of, these are all the servers of the world. You can see the game name, whether you or you have the mods or not. That's what that red exclamation mark is. If you're using, if the server is using mods that you don't have, it's going to have that, um, that red exclamation mark beside it, indicating that you cannot join that server until you have the mods downloaded. There has been a few times in the past I have had people not being able to find the server. It's almost always because one of these filters has been ticked. You haven't touched the filters. All you should really need to do here is just type in the word cup. If you want to be uh, extra sure, just cupcake. And right there, wham bam, cupcake farm SPLH. You will need the password to join the server. The server is always passworded. If you've been on the server before and you have a trusted statish in the Discord, access the uh, hashtag SPLH farm password chat. Failing that, you can kindly uh, message myself or one of our moderators slash farm managers and we can uh, send you the password. Anyways, we hit the old enter button in there and send everybody into Sync and Simulator. Okay, after you're synchronized, you're gonna just have to press the uh, start button to get on in there. And ta-da, you made it! Welcome to the farm! That was one of our resident farmers right there. Usually when you're connecting to our server, we've had these lovely signs and they are full of great information. Again, especially good for you uh, 
first timers. So definitely recommend uh, checking out and reading the signs. Farm server rules. Number one, AFK, no need to disconnect, but please exit your vehicle. Let everybody know that you're getting out of your vehicle and leaving. That way, if you are filling a critical role at the time, uh, you can be replaced by somebody else. Park your vehicles up after use. Number two, a good common courtesy rule. I would even add to that. Park it where you found it, man. No forestry. Forestry is only allowed with admin permission. Basically, if, if you haven't been explicitly told to do forestry, and there is forestry equipment on the map, just leave it alone. Forestry can crash the server real quick. We actually did it recently in Farming Simulator 19. 20 logs on the ground, and the server is already super unstable. No server griefing. Obviously, you know, no griefing, no trolling, no, no driving, like, no intentionally <laughs> messing things up. Questions? Feel free to ask. That's probably the best one, man. So, like, I always say to people, get on the server, take a few minutes, you know, go see the chickens, read the signs, look at the vehicles, lots of cool stuff out on this server. And then when you want to do something, if you have something specific in mind you want to do, just ask. This way you can just avoid the, the classic, oh, I'm going to just take the nearest vehicle and start driving it somewhere. Always better to ask questions, guys. Don't, don't be afraid of us or anything or asking questions. Getting started tips. Be sure to connect to the Discord to hear any instructions. Just like I said at the beginning of the video, guys. Discord, Discord, Discord. Get in there, man. Whenever I'm playing, if there's anybody on the server, somebody's in the voice chat. And it is a good idea to listen on there because from time to time, we'll, we'll address you via the voice chat. And it's nice if you can hear that. Ha! Ah, first time here, hit the escape menu and join our farm. That is a key piece of advice. You may find that when you come onto the server, you cannot access anything. You can't actually touch anything. And that is because in Farming Simulator 19, you can have um, multiple farms. So these different farms all have ownership of their own things like vehicles fields etc when you join the server for the first time by default you belong to no farm you're a free agent but if you want to drive a tractor or interact with any vehicles whatsoever you're going to need to join the farm it's easy to do you just click the farm press enter to join it i need a job send a message in the chat yes hotkey t i uh, want to try a different task feel free to ask for one again yes exactly just build on that whole you know don't be afraid don't be afraid to ask questions uh, ask for a job you want to do or, you know, whatever. You're here to have fun. We want you to enjoy your time on the server. So, you know, just enjoy. If you ever have any questions or any struggles, just feel free to ask.